United States is an aging country. Today, there are more middle-aged people in the U.S. than children, and by 2060, there will be more elderly than young children. But the U.S. population didn't always look like this. Back in 1860, the country was quite young. If we divided it into age groups for men and women, and then stacked older groups on top of younger ones, we can visualize the age structure of the population. 1860 had a classic pyramid shape, large at the base where there were lots of children and young people, and narrow on top where fewer people survived into old age. As the decades passed, the U.S. population grew rapidly thanks to high fertility and immigration. It kept a pyramid shape with ever-growing bars at the bottom as more children were born and shorter bars on top because of short lifespans. In 1930, that started to change. Fertility rates fell after the start of the Great Depression, and by 1940, we see a narrow base on the pyramid, a squeeze on the population that will carry forward through the decades. The drop in fertility reversed by the 1950s, however, and with the end of World War II, the U.S. experienced a baby boom alongside rapid economic growth. Even though the baby boom ended by 1970, it will continue to ripple through the population as the boomers age. Already by 1990, the population is aging, even before boomers reached middle age. At the bottom of the pyramid, we can see the young millennial generation, while at the top of the pyramid, there are more older women than men, as women tend to live longer. By 2020, the first decade of population projections, the pyramid has changed shape. We can see the baby boomers, now as older adults, and the millennial generation, which will have aged into adulthood by 2020. We can also see that the pyramid is lopsided at the oldest ages, with women outliving men. Because of longer life expectancies, women aged 85 and older will continue to outnumber older men. As people continue to live longer, the pyramid is projected to become top heavy in the coming decades, so that finally, by 2060, there will be more elderly than young children in the United States. We project that people aged 80 and over will make up 8% of the population, while children four and younger will be just 5%. Gone are the pyramids of the 19th century, replaced by the pillars of an aging population.